Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I am the Humble Gamer. This is some more of my second series of City Skylines in Delgarn Valley. Um, now, I don't think I've done actually anything since you last saw me. As you can see, we've got West Farm, which is built up quite nicely. But you'll notice I'm on the... Um, I'm on the uh, commercial... Oh, I'm on the commercial. Bloody hell, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm on the, um, the, the ground demographic view. Natural resources view. That's it's on the freaking screen, humble. Um, and you notice we we need a bit of um, commercials, commercial zone. We do have some commercial zoning just here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to in this little bit here, I'm going to um, put a commercial zone because we also need to put the bus depot somewhere and I ha think having the bus depot out the way in a commercial area in a com in a place where people go to get commercial things um, is going to make a lot of sense but I don't want to encroach on any of the nice land so we're going to build out to here we're not cutting down all the trees we're just Cutting down a few of them because they're worth more to me dead than they are alive. And this is why I don't work in politics. Um, just in case anyone was wondering why I'm why I'm not a politician. Um, it's a question I get asked a lot. Um, and then we'll just do a straight line from there and a straight line. Have to be a straight line there, and we're also going to put one into there so people can get out. And this is where we're going to have the commercial area in here. Just so that um, yeah, I think just so that people can can definitely go say this is this is where you go to do your shopping this is the this is the commercial hub if you will and I quite like the fact that everything's going to be here including the bus depot which is going to be which you're gonna to have to put in, in a second um, along with the water and the pipes and And everything, because you know, people like to drink while they're at work, apparently. And I guess occasionally use the toilet, because that's a thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm quite, I'm genuinely quite happy with how this is going, because there was a lot more faffing around with Humble Valley, um, whereas this one seems to be touching wood. This one seems to be going relatively smoothly. Um, oh, that won't cover anything, will it? So what I need to do is I need to do... Yeah, if I do that one... Okay, that could work. That could work. That could cover most of that shit in the middle. Um, electricity's fine. We just need to um, connect stuff. Um, there we go. Lovely. Okay, so now what we can do is we can start zoning um, these places on the on this sort of area so that we start getting a few of our um, a few of our commercial areas set up um, I think actually the demographic thing yeah these could work as residential as well not we don't we don't need much residential at the moment this is all part of West Farm um, and that will be the West Farm shopping center I guess put some more houses around the farms and I kind of want this to be the outskirts of this particular bit of Delgarn Valley. I want this to just be basically this be its own self contained thing because we're about to hit um, four and a f you know, four and a half thousand people. And I think I'm already, I think, yeah, I can already buy some more stuff. So I want to do 
probably a, another big road goes out this way and then comes down to here. Um, but yeah, so I think that's that's what I, that's my main aim, sort of for this episode. But also, like I said, I want to put the bus. It's going to cost me thirty thousand, so we're going to have to wait for the bus depot a little bit. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, this is all this is all part of West Farm. As is this little bit up here. But yeah, so you've really got Delgarn Valley, West Farm, and then Woodside. And Delgarn Woods is kind of... It's not really an area in that sort of sense. It's just that's the name of the woods out here that will eventually become the big industry bit. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to do it like that because it's dark at the moment, so you can't see anything anyway in the major in the major town. Um, obviously, we're going to need some more electricity at some point. Water we're fine with. It's the electricity that's the issue at the moment. Um, and the issue is that there's bog or wind on the water, so it's all going to be these sorts of things. In fact, I'm going to need to put at least one, if not two more of these up anyway. It's going to give us 104 megawatts once that's connected. I want to try and keep it as, as far away from citizens as possible so they're not done by the noise pollution. 112 megawatts. So what I really need, oil power plant, that's not really, yeah I need the hydroelectric really, because oil doesn't really count as, yeah I'm, that doesn't count as renewable. Um, really, oh, I'm going to turn that right down in my headphones, so that's really quite loud for me. You'll, it won't be affecting you in the same way, but... Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get... Because there are bus lanes. I don't want to use them just yet. I mean, that's the thing, I mean... What I need to do really is for, for my big part of the city, which if I'm going to do a big, big city, it would be up here. But I kind of want lots of little cities. I don't really want a big sort of <sighs> sprawling metropolis. That's not what I'm interested in building in this particular um, in this particular playthrough. Uh, so let's have a let's. See where people are going. These are all wood lorries. Give me a car or a bike or something. Oh, here we go. Actually, no. Let's let's follow one of the wood lorries because it'll take us through the through the uh, the foresty bits. The trees are shrinking as we get closer. Is that a level of detail thing or? Basically, this is my go-to tactic now. Whenever I'm waiting for money to roll in, I'm just going to look at this from first person view because as yes yeah, so far we've been uh, the aim is as I've said to as I've said in a couple of videos the aim is purely to use um, renewable energy sources um, so hydroelectric wind um, solar power when we get there um, I don't want to use any oil or gas or coal um, because they're simply not they're not sustainable um, and I want my city to be a sustainable one both financially and environmentally but yeah look at Delgon was this is I mean don't get me wrong it's still we're still chopping down bits of nature but how's my traffic looking overall because there was a bit of yeah there's a bit of stuff here but that's that's fine that's because it's traffic lights that's okay everywhere else is actually I'm actually doing alright traffic lights 63 Mind you, I think um, no, 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 no. Yeah, this is. All. I'm pretty happy with this as it as it stands. Sixty-three percent. We've got good industry. Again, the industry. We're just waiting for it to 
when it's needed it will come up you know it's not a this is a long form city build this is not designed to be a we can have this done in a week's worth of recording and a week's worth of playing sort of situation obviously we've got the landfill site out there which is you know not ideal but one of the keys I found out was having lots of ways out of your city um, ah there we go busy town so that means we can stick our bus depot in and we can now we can now put a bus route in <laughs> so we'll do okay so we drive on the left here so we'll do to there 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 and this is really riveting for everybody but this is part of owning a city you have to put the bus lines in Lovely. So then the buses are off, they're doing their thing. There will be um, a bus route. So we need to do a new line, really, to Delgarn Valley, don't we, really? So let's. Do one that does the main streets. Yeah, I'm not going to send the buses down any of the small internal streets. You are going to have to walk the bus for a, for a certain extent. Um, but, you know, I mean, I don't think that's necessarily awful. You know, I think it gets people... It gets people out, it gets people onto the... I guess we need to swap over there and then... It gets people out into the fresh air. I mean, that being said, we're quite a fresh airy kind of city, let's be fair here. Town, village at the moment, we're not a city. That's another bus route done, which means some more buses shall be off. Um, buses in U7, that seems about right, I think. Let me guess, I can now have a universe. Oh, I can put a public library in. How are we doing? Elementary's fine. High school, probably need another high school at some point. That's fine, we can put one in it. Put one in up here at... Um, oh, we've got a high school up there, don't we? So, education, so that's... Okay, now we'll put another high school in, we'll put a high school in. Yeah, we've got one over there, so we'll put one in West Side. West Farm, even. Um, so we will do another bus route as well. Because um, so far we've got a number of bits that are missing, like we've got... Um, Woodside really doesn't have a bus route, so we'll do a, yeah, we'll do a, a Woodside sort of outer, an outer edges bus route, if you will. So we'll start there. I say outer edges. I mean, this is going. Quite central, really, isn't it? But uh, there we go. 
There's another line done. So I think most of most of us most of it is covered now by um, by some sort of bus stop. Um, let's see, where are my schools? Where are my schools? There's my high school. Where's the nearest bus stop? Oh, one right outside it. I've planned that well, that's good. Um, I think at the moment, actually, we are doing genuinely, but doing pretty well. I'll, need, I'll put a public library in. I think we probably do need one of those, at the very least. And we'll put it in... Where should we put it? Where should we put it? Yeah, I'll put it in Woodside, why not? Uh, I don't think anything else particularly new opened up, did it? Police Station Fire Brigade. Oh, I do want to put, I do want to put some elder care. I think, because I've got... Is it... No, it's child care. I need, I need to put... I want to put some childcare in, so I'll put that in um, down here somewhere. Yeah, because that now means that we've got. Yeah, we've. So again, yeah, um, good progress. Oh, it's gone very dark. Let me put some. Ah, oh, yes, this is the rain that we're forecast. Give me two seconds. of lights on so you can actually see what's what I'm doing um, and yeah now we're going to need some electricity at some point um, some serious electricity at some point that's fine we can fortunately wind turbines are actually within our we can we can buy one new one a week basically which is kind of cool we can just keep putting new wind turbines on all around the town um, let's. So that travels on bus line one, so it's nearly home actually. So what we'll do is once it gets home, because there's nothing there yet for it, but there will be, because this is all going to be zoned as commercial. So what we'll do is we'll take a night bus ride. Around, around. Well, an evening bus ride around town. Once it gets back to the Peter Street bus depot, and then I think, well, again, it's been a short one. But I think we, pro we can probably leave that there, really, because there's not a lot. Right, so that's now it's done its full route. So now we are going the full route of bus route one. This is going around quite a lot of Delgarn Valley here, stopping off at many spots. I think what I will do is I will um, adjust budget so, that, so the buses take less money at night because there should be less running, let's be fair. People will use them less at night, though I still want a couple of night buses. Get people home, but yeah, this is going to take us around quite a lot of our city. Um, village. And then, like I said, next to this I want to do a load of fields and then I want to move where we start the next the next village. I want there to be genuine travelling between villages. Um, I want to feel like, you know, there are people that actually have to travel between places. Because um, Humble Valley became essentially became one sprawling mess, which I don't want. I don't want, and I like the fact that you can do that on this game. You can be like, right, and I'm not going to put any houses in here. This is just farmland, or it's just forestry, or it's just whatever. Just road. Um, and then, yes, we go right to that's quite a tight. That's quite a tight term for the bus. I didn't think that one through, but... Burned bean coffee. Oh, didn't know we had a coffee place. I don't particularly like coffee. don't know why I'm so excited about the coffee place, but... It's one of those things, isn't it? Ah, oh, yes, we turn back in this way now, don't we? Oh, I have sent one down one of the little streets. This is the only bus route that goes down a tiny little street, down Pierce Street. Might have to alter this route, I think, a little bit. But if it is just Pierce Street, that's okay, actually. That's not too awful. I think it is just Pierce Street. Okay, we got away with that one. That's fine. 
that's fine. I can. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh, it's going through all the little streets. So this one's this one's genuinely a little sort of. This is the local bus run. <laughs> but actually, no, I quite like that because it, yeah, we're, we're getting to see the little local bits. This is going to affect traffic badly on these roads, though. This is a long stop. There we go. Thank you. Mind you, we're dropping a few people off quite close to their homes, so, you know, I mean, that's probably going to give me kudos. I mean, like I said, it will affect traffic. Actually, we've not seen much traffic, to be fair. So I thought there's a massive load of traffic behind me. Oh, there we go, back onto the bigger roads. Now, that's okay, I can, I can handle that. Just cuts through one estate, that's fine, that's fine. So probably it's part of West Farm it must be. Given where we are. And what route we're doing, yeah, this that must have been part of West Farm. Because now those are the farms just to our left there. And in fact I think this is we're now heading back to the depot. So actually it's yeah, it's quite a depot depot, bloody hell. <laughs> You're not American. Nothing wrong with being American, but I'm not American. Pause there. Another stop on the route. That's yeah, quite a nice little route, that. I'm not a fan of it going through the. Um... Going through the, the estate, but you know, it'll be helpful to people that live in that estate, and ultimately it's not too bad. And yeah, now we're in the bits where this is the end of the town as it stands. There's nothing been built here just yet. There will be, I think. I think industry and commercial will come. Again, well, not industry, we're not doing industry. Commercial will come. Um, I think the farms will build as well. Um, they're just going to take time because they're farms. And yes, the bus depot is just here. So that's not bad. That Actually, that's quite a nice route. And I think this is where I'm going to have uh, the train station as well. This bus stop here is going to be for the train station. Um... Because I'm not going to try and stick one right in the centre of town because that would be well, it would be counterproductive. It would get rid of an awful lot of stuff that's already been built, and it's going to be a faff. Whereas if I just have the train come to the outskirts, it's going to cost less money for a start, and I've got a bus route right there. And there it is, back at the depot. Lovely. So I think if I go to the budget tab now, and if I do budget for buses at night, we're going to drop it down to drop it down to 65 percent. So, yeah, because yes, the the railway comes into here, so that will then take a turn. There can probably be a station along here. And then, yeah, a station here. But I think, yeah, so unless unless I decide to put a tunnel in and have a station there, which is a distinct possibility, but all we're going to do is now we're going to buy some more land. So I'll buy that one, and that's all I can do for now. Because we do need some more housing, and I'm going to build some more housing over here, but we shall do that in the next episode. And this one is going to be pretty much a direct continuation. So, thank you ever so much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. I'll put us on a view over, over what we've got there. This is going to be a separate town over here. There's going to be a separate little village that will probably come down this way. Um, and have its own connection to the motorway and to the railway. But I'm going to wait for it to be daylight.
which is coming up now. So, like I said, either way, we'll pause it, actually. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Check out um, the game in the description below. Check out Mr. Miyagi's map in the description below. If I haven't said it in the previous three episodes, this is a, another Mr. Miyagi map. Um, check out my previous um, City Skylines, the Humble Valley, Humble Glen that I keep talking about in the description below. Um, and check out on the, on the annotation, check out the annotation on the screen you're about to see for other non-City Skylines content. Thank you ever so much for watching. I was me. That was Dalgarn Valley and City Skylines. See you very soon, guys. Goodbye. Peace. Thank you for watching, Alan. Thank you for watching, Alan. Oh, you're the... You're, I, I, mean, you're I, know, the I know he's the watermelon. No! No! Oh, Russell, you're a dick! You're an absolute dick, <laughs> Fireblaze! <laughs>